Now, here's what we don't want to do. We don't want to find something that's round, like this lens cap, and then trace over it, or a coffee cup, or a saucer from the kitchen. See, as soon as you do that, you're no longer sketching. You're doing something called mechanical drawing. And uh, while it looks nice and perfect, it'll be easy to tell with all your other lines, your sketch lines, that this was drawn with some assistance, and that means it's not a sketch anymore. So don't trace things if you want to get a perfect circle. If you're trying to sketch, try to use the methods that we've talked about. One of the uh, methods for drawing things involves understanding a concept of tangent and tangency. So if we have already done this using AutoCAD, we have an idea what tangency is, but if we haven't, that's okay. We'll take it from the top. Uh, I want to draw a line. I want to draw a line from here to the circle. If I draw that line and it bumps into the circle, we can say that it is touching the circle right there, but it's not touching it and blending in in a smooth fashion. It's kind of abrupt, right? It just bangs right into the circle. See, this line is not tangent to that circle. Uh, if I draw a line here and I want to go tangent to the circle and I draw, well, is that line tangent to the circle? No, it's not even touching. You see there's a gap there. So neither of these lines are tangent to the circle. This one doesn't touch the circle. This one touches, but is not tangent. So what does tangent mean? Well, it's that magical point where a line touches and blends into a circle or an arc with perfect smoothness. And right there, that is the point of tangency. So a lot of times we're trying to draw things and we need to make a smooth transition between an arc or a circle and a straight edge. Well, we're going to be trying to do so with some tangency. Tangency also